Ventriculophasic sinus arrhythmia, also known as ventriculophasic response, is the shortening of a PP interval which encloses a QRS complex. Ventriculophasic sinus arrhythmia is a form of non-respiratory sinus arrhythmia seen during complete heart block in which the sinus cycle length is reduced when a QRS complex occurs between two P waves. It is also known as ventriculophasic response. One of the earliest available clinical reports of the phenomenon was by Wilson and colleagues in 1918. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In a study, 30% ventriculophasic response seen at baseline increased to 70% with deep inspiration. PP interval shortening after a spontaneous QRS was more than that after a paced QRS. Prevalence of ventriculophasic response was 25% in the paced rhythm and 56% with intrinsic complexes. The authors suggested the influence of autonomic activity on ventriculophasic response in view of variation with deep inspiration. Better ventricular synchrony with spontaneous beats may be the reason for higher response with spontaneous beats compared to pace beats. Proposed mechanisms to explain ventriculophasic sinus arrhythmia are phasic changes in baroreceptor mediated vagal input to the sinus node, mechanical effect of ventricular systole on the sinus node, effect of pressure changes caused by ventricular systole, increased blood flow to the sinus node during ventricular systole. It has been shown that ventriculophasic sinus arrhythmia is absent in recipient atria after orthotopic cardiac transplant. This is despite the intact autonomic innervation of the recipient atria, possibly due to the absence of pulsatile blood flow to the sinus node. Ventriculophasic response is likely to be more if the QRS complex occurs in the early part of the PP interval. Ventriculophasic response has been defined as more than 3% shortening of PP interval if the QRS complex occurs within the first 60% of the anticipated PP interval. It has been documented to be more common in females than males, 81% versus 37%. It is more likely when the ejection fraction is 40% or more. Here are a couple of references for ventricular phasic sinus arrhythmia. Here are two more references for the topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.